Hi Gorgeous Girls, I'm Adele from Get Gorgeous. I'm interested in nutrition, I'm interested in exercise, and I am really interested in your gorgeous mindset. And that's why I want to talk to you about the one most important change, the one thing, the single thing that you can do to lose weight and get gorgeous this summer. The one thing. Let me put it this way. Are you one of those girls that talks about, I'll be happy when I've lost six pounds. I'll be happy when I've lost a stone. I'll be happy when I get my promotion. I'll be happy when I fit the dress at the back of the cupboard. I'll be happy when. It is the wrong way round. If you're happy first, then you will reach your success goals, whatever they are. Don't believe me? Think it's a gimmick? Maybe, but there is research to prove it. Happiness is the most important change that you can do to lose weight and get gorgeous this summer. Really? I'll be happy when dot, dot, dot. It's broken thinking. If that was the case, if you'd be happy when, you'd be happy when you'd reached your running milestone. You'd be happy when you got your new job promotion or you'd be happy when you got the new client. But it doesn't work, does it? Because you simply move the milestone. You simply move the goalpost. You do something else. So the single thing you can do is to get happy. Reach your health goals by being happy. That's the key. Researchers proved this. They did some research on general practitioners, doctors, and they made sure that they had a little boost of happiness. And when they went in to see their client, they found that those ones that had, had the boost of happiness were three times more accurate, more creative in their diagnosis. Sales consultants were 56% more likely to get the sale if they'd had a boost of happiness beforehand. And these little boosts of happiness that made them successful were really small. For the GP, it was some sweeties, it was a candy, it was a lollipop. It doesn't have to be big. Other little happiness things that you can do are looking forward to something. Looking forward to your favourite Netflix, looking forward to your favourite film or whatever it is, your series that you look forward to. Looking forward to your meditation, your quiet, calm time, your Zen time, five minutes a day. Or consciousness, kindness, conscious kindness. When you do something lovely for somebody else, when you pick up a sweetie paper off the floor, or you pay for a ticket, a car parking ticket inside a car park, that's lovely. That can boost your happiness, your well-being, and your success. Positivity in your surroundings. You can boost your happiness and your success when you are in a positive surrounding. So your office, for instance, putting up a plant or bringing in some flowers, that's going to boost your positivity. Other things that you can do, more long-term things that you can do for your happiness and therefore for your long-term success are fourfold. Firstly, be grateful. Be grateful for what you have right now. A cosy, warm home, a happy place. Be grateful for what you have. Recognise what you do have right now. Number two, recognise that you are perfectly imperfect, okay? So you might not handle everything perfectly straight away. You might not get Johnny off to school in the most quiet, serene way that you would like. You might handle Mrs. Miggins' comment very badly. It doesn't matter. Nobody comes from the same background as you. Nobody's got the same trigger points as you. Nobody knows what's going on for you. So not every day is going to go great. But no that you're fantastic and you're gorgeous in all your imperfections. Freeing yourself from this view of being perfect is going to make you so much happier. Freeing yourself from this perfect thinking is holding you back. 
is keeping you in this constant state of anxiety. And anxiety breeds more fear, more anxiety. So what do you do to nurture yourself? Well, what does most women do to nurture themselves? We grab the chocolate biscuit. <laughs> but if I can free you from feeling negative or worried about being anxious or fearful because you're trying to be perfect, then you won't grab the chocolate biscuit. Have I still got your train of thought? Or have you gone to the chocolate biscuit? <laughs> Come back. Being imperfect means you're going to be less anxious and you're less likely to go for the quick fix, okay? Make sense? Let go of being perfect. Have a positive mindset. Now, neuroscience has talked about research and research was always going on about negativity, looking at how, why we were depressed and what happened in your background to make you depressed, why you don't eat properly and things like that. But having a positive outlook is going to transform your thinking. Rather than dwelling on the past, think to the future. And that's what coaching does. Look to how you can change for the future. Positive mindset. Number four, take small steps. Now this reminds me of Jack Canfield's book, The Slight Edge. He was coaching his daughter. She was a brilliant, clever young woman that was going to, off to university and she realised when she got to university that she wasn't going to be the most intelligent person in the class. She was going to be average or even below average, which for her was a shame, was a shock. So how am I going to cope? How am I going to cope with being bottom of the class, Dad? This is what she was asking Jack, her father. And he said, take the slight edge. Do the classes. Make sure you do the homework. Be consistent. Take small steps every day. Now, whereas some people dropped out of college, some people couldn't keep up with the work, she was consistent and at the end of her first academic year, she had sustained, she sustained her brilliant promise, her brilliant achievement, and she was doing well, even top of the class. So what that says is being consistent, small steps that are consistent. Now with your positive mindset, your small steps could be keeping up your daily step count keeping up your weekly exercise routine, keeping your positive nutritional habits, and then you will reach your transformational goals. So the one most important change to losing weight and getting gorgeous this summer is be happy. Don't wait until you've lost six pounds. Don't wait until you've collected that new client. As Sean Aker says, happiness is the precursor to success. It's not merely the result. So you don't get happy once you've got success. You will get success. You will be more efficient. You will be more accurate if you are happy. Turn it around. Happiness starts right now, not in the future. And the simplest way to change your life is to be happy. Reach your successful health goals by being grateful for where you are right now. Recognise, number two, that you are imperfect. Three, a positive mental attitude, positive mindset, and I can help you with that. And number four, take small steps. Small steps for your transformational goals. And I would love to chat to you about those goals. What are they and how I can help you to get there? Let's chat. I'm Adele from Get Gorgeous. I am a nutritionalist. I am a health coach, which means I'm gonna help you with your exercise and I'm gonna help you with your mindset. Let's chat. See you soon. Bye.